Europe's biggest radio station, 1FM. The Sausage Slot now news beats regular look at the world of sausages and sausage men with all the latest sausage gossip. And joining us in the studio is Robert Metcalf from BSB, the British Sausage Bureau. Robert, welcome. Do you think sausages are where it's at as far as the charts are concerned? They seem to be, yes. But most songs are about love and love baby and that sort of thing. They're not really about sausage. It's right? time for a change. You've got a strong field now. There's this one, what's it called? There's nothing like it for filling up my plate. What's it called? Um, there's no better thing to fill up my plate was one of the first entries Catchy that we title, had in. Isn't Absolutely, it, yes. Yeah. Jim Bermy is clearly a, you know, a gourmet, an incorrect gourmet, isn't he? He's not muesli man. Oh, he's definitely not. No, he's he's a meat and two veg, preferably sausages as well. And he has them for breakfast. Well, I have sausages for breakfast. <laughs> I tell you what, if proof was ever needed that the Wombles ate sausages, this is it. Don't you, doesn't that remind you of the Wombles? Womble sausaging that was. <laughs> I like that one, though. I thought it was great fun. A sausage is just a sausage, so some people say. But the eating of a sausage can really change your day. When the bills are piling in again and you've dropped your favourite cup. And people stop you in the street and say to you, What's up? The knowledge that when you get home, you'll change the way you feel by sitting in your favourite chair to eat your favourite meal, consuming every single piece, no scraps left for the cat. Are sausages a matter of life and death? Oh no, they're much more important than that. Soya bean for burgers with no 